to another Java tutorial. Now, in the last video, we just set up our development environment. We downloaded and installed JDK and Eclipse. And we also set up the class path for Java so that uh, Eclipse can find JDK. Now, in this video, we're gonna write our very first Java program. So all you have to do is go and, uh, go and start Eclipse, click on that, and Eclipse will open like this. Now, uh, it's really important to set up the class path, first of all. Uh, so if you haven't uh, set up the path for the JDK, you uh, make sure to watch the previous video and set, up, set it up. Because only downloading Eclipse and JDK will not work. You have to set up the path. So let's get started. So the first thing you have to do is click on File, New, Java Project. So we're going to create a very first Java project. And I'm going to name it Java tutorial so let's click finish here and as you can see in the package explorer you guys can see that a new java tutorial project has been created so here you can see a small triangle blue like so just press that and it will expand and here is jre system library so here are all the libraries that we are using uh, given by the jdk and here you will see something called src or source now this is where we're gonna create all our new classes now a java project is basically a uh, is made of a bunch of classes so you have to create uh, a lot of classes so we need to have at least one class in order to create our very first run our very first java program so just right click on src right click here new class make sure to select the class so this pop-up will open and you have to name your class something like i'll name it tutorial and make sure these things are checked uh, public static void main you can and check the public static void main okay check it and click finish now since we have uh, it will take some time now since we have selected the public static void main it will already it have already created uh, all these things for us okay so let's go and delete these things uh, i hate this uh, also delete that we only need this okay so let's go and save it uh yeah save it so this is basically our very first java program and uh, the editor has already created that now this is a class public class tutorial now as i've said you have to have a class in a java program in order to run it and inside that we have the method called main now you have to have a main method in a java program now there are various ways to create a java program without a main method but basically standard way is to you have a main method and its format should be like this public static void main string arrays args and i'm going to explain each and everything later okay so first of all let's create something so that we can see that we have already created a program so write with me system dot out dot print ln Oh, why it freezes? System out print align and without and then write within quotations write my first Java program runs. Okay, and at last give a semicolon. Make sure to give the semicolon. Just save it. Make sure to make the S capital. Okay, system that out dot print ln my first java program so let's go and click on the green triangle here it will run the program R run it and it should run and as you can see here it says my first java program runs so uh, this is your first java program you have run it congratulations so let's explain a bit about these things the first thing as i've told whenever you create uh, your class public class tutorial a class is already created now inside the class you have to have a main method okay you have to have a main method inside your class now this main method is basically the starting point of our program okay so 
all these things are started from this main program. The whole Java program that we're gonna create later will start from this main program in our tutorial class. Okay. And this basically means sending some parameters to main. This string means, uh, oh, you will later understand what are strings. And this is an array which you will also later understand. Now, as of now, you have to only understand that this is the standard format for a Java program. So you have to have, you have to do this. Okay, public static void main. And inside that, you can write anything. Now, system.out.println, whatever we have written here, it basically prints a line on the screen okay so it basically prints the line prints a line on the screen so that is why when you run it the main method runs and it prints the line on the screen okay so that's it for this tutorial in this video we just created our very first program and ran it in the next video, we'll understand the main method and why do we need this and we'll study these things deeply. So thank you very, very much for watching this video. I hope it helped. And if you have any questions, write those in comments and make sure to subscribe and like. Please, please subscribe. Thank you.